everybody! Welcome back to Fallout! Look, Space Ranger Mike is down here with Ian. We're still in the uh, Brotherhood of Steel bunker. Uh, we have a date with Destiny, apparently. I think we have to go to this meeting. Um, possibly. I think. Should we go? Off we go. Follow me, Ian. We're going to this meeting. Uh, the general wants us to go to this meeting. Um, and tell everybody that there's a whole bunch of mutants up in the uh, up in the northwest uh, that we need to stop together as a team. Is in that right, team? Stay sharp, initiate. Okay, I will. I'm gonna stay as sharp as I can be. We're going in here. We're gonna talk to these dudes, and hopefully, we're gonna get some power armor. What's up, guys? This is uh, an elder of the Brotherhood. The meeting will come to order. Oh, here we go. Gosh, we're launching right in it. We don't even get to sit down. Look, we have to stand facing the wall in some sort of like obscure, weird ritual. All elders are present and have agreed to hear out the claims of Brother Mike Tyson. Thanks, guys. We shall determine what actions will be taken. Brother Mike Tyson, tell us what you have seen to the north. During my explorations, I found a military installation being used by mutants. It is heavily guarded and patrolled regularly. And what did these mutants look like? They were big, they were green, and they were carrying guns. What threat do you assume these mutants pose? <laughs> Why do you say mutants, like in quotation marks? What the hell? They're, they are up there. Uh, they're eating Brahmin. Just as the Brotherhood has been gearing up for battle, this mutant army has been preparing for something big. Frankly, your report has not shown us any proof that they are a threat to us. What proof can you give that they have hostile intentions? They are gathering an army, a heavily armed army. They certainly aren't going to just parade around. They intend to use it. So by these actions they are taking, it is feasible that they will eventually come here? It is possible that they are already on their way here. <laughs> the Brotherhood is the only real opposition they could have. This is true. What do you suggest? A preemptive strike at their military base? Um, yeah, I guess. I don't want them to know we are coming, though. A small team would stand a better chance of getting into their perimeter without being detected. Alright, so be it. You shall have three paladins of my choosing to meet you at the military base to help you get inside. Elders, thank you for your time. Best of luck to you, Initiate. Oh! Can I have some power armor? Come on. I'm too busy planning a defensive strategy. What about you? I wonder if Maxon is right about that army in the north. Of course he is. What do you guys think I am? Some sort of liar or something? Jesus. All right, great. I wonder what Maxon has to say about all this. Follow me, Ian. We're going to go see what Maxon has to say about all of this. Probably nothing. He's probably like, oh, I need to get back to filing my, my bunions or something like that. Clarice or whatever this one's name is. Oh no, that's the general. What the hell? Who's this again? Oh yeah, it's Mathia. Mathia, attend Hello, to my bunions. Uh, things going well? Can I ask you another question? Yeah, fire away. I need some power armor. Do you know anything about the Deathclaw? Oh, no, just another stupid rumor. No, some it's not. I it's killed a one. Huge fanged monster, and others say it's a vampire. It is a vampire. Yeah. Okay. Get out. I have work to do. Okay. Bye. All right, he has nothing to say about the fact that we're getting three paladins of... I hope we're not going to get a bunch of crappy paladins. Just wait, wait for it. We're going to get a bunch of crappy paladins. I can't even open this. What the hell's going on? It's nothing out of the ordinary. There's a door there. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, we're going to open the door and we're going to go upstairs and try to swindle our way into some power armor. Can it be done? Will it? this be the great swindle of 20... Well, actually, what's the... What's the date in game? I, I want to stay. This will be the great swindle of 2162. Are you all ready for this? We're going to go swindle ourselves some power armor so that we can use it to fight the mutants, even though I'm sure that we're not quite ready to actually fight the mutants. But maybe with some power armor, we would possibly be ready to start fighting those mutants. Who's this? Is this the guy? It's Michael. Hello again. How are you doing today? How can I help you? Nothing by. Could you ever possibly help me? I don't think so. Get out of my way. Uh, nothing by. All right, we can't talk to you, Michael. All right, we're going to talk to this guy instead. Who's this guy again? This is the trainer guy, isn't it? This is uh, Talus. Talus? Hello again, Brother Mike Tyson. How can I help you? Can I get some more ammo? I'm done climbing that mountain. Where's your doctor? Look. Oh, yeah, look. 
That's right, I said that we were gonna... I'm done climbing the mountain. Well, I see we have a bright new addition to our order after all. Talus leers at you. Don't get cocky with me, initiate. I'm not in the mood, nor have I the patience. Talus, give me something to do, for Christ's sake. Can I get some more ammo? Sorry, you've had more than your share for this week. You'll have to make do with what you have. We don't have an endless supply of ammunition. Okay, uh, what about... Where's your doctor located? She's on the second level. Just go down to the second floor and make a level. I've seen her before. All right, so Talus isn't going to give me anything to do. Um, apparently, there's like a way that I can get power armor, but I'm not sure if I can do it. No slacking off. Okay, I'll try not to. Apparently, I have to like try to fix some power armor, and that might be able to get me it. But it's like downstairs or something, possibly. The only other way is for Talus. I think I've like ruined my chances at doing anything for Talus by being a smartass with him. Which kind of sucks, actually. All right. Is it floor two? We're going to check floor two. And we have to, like, try to repair some power armor, which is apparently, like, uh, broken. This is the doctor. Maybe it's level three, then? I don't see any broken power armor down here. All right. Follow me, Ian. Ian? Okay, Ian. Come out here, and then I'll go in here again. Look, I just did the old one-two on him. I <laughs> just, like, totally confused him. Oh, where'd you go, Mike? I'm back in the elevator, Ian. All right, uh, is it? Oh yeah, okay, here, this must be it. So I think if we try to like fix this power armor um, and we are successful in doing so, I don't know what my repair skill is or, or anything. Uh, apparently we can use it, but it like it won't be as good because it's crappy and broken. What's this? Power armor parts. Okay, uh, can we pick up the parts? Let's just look at them. Okay, let's save because I bet you if I try to pick them up, this guy is going to, like, open fire on me. Save. Okay, great. Let's pick them up. You see, you cannot use this until it is repaired, okay? Uh, let us repair. 43% chance to repair stuff. It seems to be missing a part that you can't find. What part is that? Repair. Let's try again. Okay. Third time lucky. Should we do some science on it? What part are we missing? What's all this crap? Stuff. Should we pick up some stuff? Maybe there's some stuff in here that we need. We search the stuff. We find nothing in the stuff. What about this stuff? Is there any stuff in here? No, there's not. We can't just, like, take the stuff either. These are all the parts. We can't take it until it's repaired. What does this guy have to say? This is not... Hello again. Can I help you? What do you do here? I fix stuff. Run maintenance checks. That sort of stuff. What kind of stuff? Power armor and anything else that needs fixing. How can I get my hands on some power armor? I give you this power armor right here, but it's missing its systolic motivator. It's useless without it. Oh, where could someone get one of those? Well, they've got more than enough up in the supply room, but Michael and his damn form say that this particular suit isn't up to specs, damn bureaucrats. What do you mean, not up to specs? You see this eyepiece right here? I had to re-solder it in place, and I don't... And it don't look as pretty as it needs to for inspection, I guess. So if I brought you a systolic motivator, would you fix it for me? Whoa, wait a minute there, fella. That would take a good couple hours. I'd loan you a manual and my tools, but you'd have to repair it yourself. Well, besides Michael, where else could I get one? Huh, well, Rhombus has a couple of them. I wouldn't ask him for one, though. Only the honored are supposed to wear these here power suits. Besides, I think he has an unnatural attachment to them. Hmm, okay, thanks a lot. Oh, well, shit. Well, let me... Look at that. That's fantastic. At least we have, like, something to do now. Okay, Rhombus is the guy that wants to kick our ass every time we go into his room. Uh, and he might be able to give us a systolic, um, whatever it is, motivator or whatever. Uh, and we can also try to, I guess, um, convince Michael that we need one. Although we might not be able to do that. All right, well, we're going to go try anyway. Because getting this power armor is just, like, the last thing on the list before we go and we have a tussle with mutants, I think. And we probably need to do some leveling up and stuff, too. All right. Come on, then, Michael. Give up the goods or get sprayed, punk. That's right. I'm going to get my fists of fury out. I'm going to leave trademarks all over your eyes, Michael, if you don't give me this systolic motivator. Hello again. How are you doing today? How can I help you? Could you ever pause? I'm looking for a systolic motivator. Do you have the proper authorization? Yes. I was sent up here to get a systolic motivator. No, I don't, but it is imperative that I get that part. Kyle sent me up to get the part. 
<laughs> no, how do I get authorization? You don't. First, Kyle needs to see the unit in need of repair. If he feels the repair is warranted, he then puts in a parts request. Rhombus reviews the requests and determines which ones are viable. Go talk to Kyle. Bye. Oh yeah, well, Kyle sent me. Could you check your terminal one more time? Let me look here. He checks his terminal. Well, I don't see a request for a systolic motivator. You'll need to get the proper authorization. Now look, I don't want any trouble. Just give me the damn part. You don't? Ordinance was supposed to send me down yesterday. Look, can you help me out? If I don't get this part, it's gonna be my ass. I'm sure the form will be here later today. Okay, let's see if we can get this. I would give it to you if I could, but I can't. Not without proper authorization. Oh, well, I guess I understand. I'll just go to the beach and kick a stone and think about it. And some sad music will start playing in the background. And I'll do some soul searching and think about that power armor so much that eventually it'll just materialize, right? And just give it to me. I don't know what I'm going to do, though. You're not getting the part, and that's final. I told you what you need to do, and I'm not going to repeat myself done. Michael is some sort of asshole from hell. God, can you believe this paper pusher? Hello again. How are you doing today? How can I help you? Uh, could you ever possibly help me? I don't think so. Get out of my way. Nothing. Bye. Okay. We failed all of those checks, and now uh, we don't have the... I wonder if maybe Talus can give us something to do now. Talus? We tried to swindle Michael, and it didn't work. Uh, where's your doctor located? Can I get some... No. Okay. Fine, Talus. I guess you don't want to know about it. Okay, Rhombus, I guess? What the hell is the deal with Rhombus, though? I can never talk to the guy. Ian, get out of the fucking way! Jesus! Quiet, don't make me bring Rhombus in here. He'll whoop all your ass. Of course he will. All right, what time is it? Maybe it's like a time thing. Maybe Rhombus is like trying to have his like power nap or something and he just doesn't like to be disturbed in the middle of the night. Well, it is. It's like four in the morning. Uh, should we rest for a minute? Let's rest for like, what, six hours? Okay, there. It's like 10 to 10. Hopefully Rhombus like doesn't like sleep in too much or whatever. All right, we'll save our game and then we're going to go try to deal with Rhombus. Rhombus? Am I allowed to come in here, Rhombus? I bet you he's got all those parts that we need in his locker. He's been stealing them. Can we talk to you now without you getting too agitated, Rhombus? Who is there? It is me, all Mike right. Tyson. Explain yourself, initiate. I need a systolic vibrator, Rhombus. I'm sorry, I didn't know this you was your room. lie, initiate. Oh, my... Rhombus... Why don't you just choke on one of your own turds? What, what time do we have to visit this guy at? It's like 9 in the morning. It's almost 10 in the morning. Let's rest for three more hours. There. It's, at, it's the afternoon now, Rhombus. What the heck is going on? How do we get in here? And how come you can't give us something cool to do for crying in the sink? I wonder if there's like a chest or something here. Look. <laughs> I wonder if we sneak. Oh, God. Okay, check this out. We're going to sneak. All right, we're sneaking now. Rhombus isn't going to hear us, okay? Like, he's heard us. Okay, let's run away, Ian. Pretend that this never happens. Okay, out we go. He's going to see me. Okay, he's chasing after me. Let's just pretend that we were just walking around out in the hallway here. Ian? Hey, so Ian, what do you think of my new backpack that I just got in this Space Ranger suit? You like that? No? Okay, thanks, Ian. And then the rest of them are just like, oh, I wonder if maybe there's one in this bathroom here. Whose room is this even? It's a guard. Vree's in the library during the day if you ever have some... Oh, is this Vree's room or something? Holt, you can't go in there. Well, it's too late. I'm in. Oh, man. Check this out. What's in these lockers? I hope there's like some really cool junk in here. Nope. There's nothing. What about in here? Look at this shower facility. It's fantastic. All right, fine. Rhombus, you win again. I guess we can't get a motivational extractor fan or whatever it is. Oh, I wonder if maybe now that he's in here, I can, like, go in. I'm going to have to reload again. He's going to kick me out of the Brotherhood of Steel once again. I don't know why he just kicks you out just for walking in here. Hey, what's up? Hi, Rhombus. May I help you? Oh, can I ask you a few questions? Tell me about yourself. Oh. What well, can you tell me about the surrounding area? Heard any good rumors? Can you give me some history behind the brother? Tell me about yourself, I Rhombus. I am Rhombus, head of the Paladins. I train those willing to learn. Okay, can you teach me some stuff? Stuff? 
Yeah. I could teach you how to fight. Well, I don't want that. I want stuff. But the High Elder decreed no training of new recruits until the threat of invasion passes. I could easily defeat you in battle, Rhombus. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we're gonna rip one of these motivational vibrators right out of his power suit. Get our own. Oh shit. Enjoy these last few seconds. Oh yeah, Rhombus? Well, what do you think of uh, this? I bet you didn't expect me to have one of these, you son of a bitch. We, we were hit for 11 hit points and we missed Rhombus. All right, Ian. Unload on this guy's ass. Come on. Get the bazooka out. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look, we picked up... <laughs> He's reloading his Desert Eagle. Is that a knife, Ian? Because now's not a time for a knife. This guy's got a chain gun, for Christ's sake. He hit me for 28 points. Oh, look, he's got to have backup, too. Hey, Rhombus, I thought we were going to have a 1v1, you scrub. What's this? Eh? This is more like a 10v1. There's no possible way that I can... I mean, I know that Ian is actually in here. Holy God, this guy's armor is crazy. <laughs> this is why we need power armor. Look at that. Our power fisting is doing nothing. Uh-oh. I am coming! Uh-oh. Watch out. Weak fool. All right. Well, picking a fight with Rhombus was probably pretty dumb, but actually, it's very satisfying as well. What's he doing? He was just hanging up his laundry on his chain gun, and then... Oh, my God. Oh, shit. That guy just, like, two-shot. One-shot both of us at the same time. All right. Rhombus. GG. I mean, I thought that was going to be a 1v1, and I thought we'd be able to rip that part that we needed off of him or whatever but okay so maybe if we like rest again for like four hours maybe he'll come out of his room or maybe we actually have to get him out of his room okay all of those parts that we need are in that locker i guarantee it all right rhombus who's there it's not me oh god come on let me out quick no no rhombus don't catch me oh oh get around the corner oh ian he's gonna see you no, he hasn't seen you. Okay, great. All right, so maybe now that he's out, okay, Rhombus. Hey, what's up, Rhombus? It's me. It's just an initiate. I'm just uh, doing a routine sweep of uh, the quarters. All right. Explain yourself. Initiate. I just said, Rhombus, I'm doing a routine sweep. I don't need to explain anything to you, you freak. This is what we do to... It's not... Just kicking me out is so lame. <laughs> It's not even, like, that much of a punishment. I don't even really want to be part of your stupid team down here. I just want some power armor so that I can go administer some justice out there in the field. All right, well, I think maybe we have to go speak to Kyle, or we have to, like, somehow find one of these, like, um, sensational, motivational, educational, um, motion machinational, or whatever, something, or others. That's next on the list. All right, we spoken to Michael. We have to speak to Kyle and we have to get Kyle to like, I think, fudge one of his like requests or something. Michael or Kyle, would you be up for fudging one of those requests if it means that I can get one of these power suits um, and I can show you that actually that soldering job that you did was awesome and he's going to be really pleased. Kyle? Hey, Initiate. Got anything for me? No, I told them you sent me and he wouldn't give me the part. No shit. Here I thought you was smart. I told you that guy had official forms for brains. Watch who you call an idiot. I was just trying to talk it out of Michael. What can I do if Michael won't give it to me? Heh. Well, Rhombus has a couple of them. I wouldn't ask him for one, though. Only the honored... Okay, hmm, okay, thanks a lot. Do you have anything else to say to me other than that? No, I told him you sent me. Watch out who you call an idiot. I was just trying to talk it out of Michael. Well, uh... I gotta give you credit for that. Okay, great. At least that's something. But I think you blew your chances with getting it from the supply room. You'll just have to find another way to get it. Or find yourself power armor somewhere else. Where else can I dig one up? Well, Rhombus has a couple of them. Okay. So all we have to do is kill Rhombus, apparently. Can we just have these parts? Like, just in case I find a, a piece while I'm out there and I could just, like, assemble it myself? Or maybe you have one of these things in this locker and you just, like, forgot that you stored it in there or something, no? Or are they too valuable for that? God damn it, these lockers are all empty, you son of a bitch. What about this toolbox here? Nothing. What kind of operation are you guys running down here? There's nothing in any of these lockers or this tool bench, for Christ's sake. No? Okay. 
So Rhombus is our only hope now. And Rhombus is like impossible to deal with. I think we like somehow have to like blind him or can we knock him out or something? Or can we like maybe like get him onto like cleaning detail or something? Who who controls Rhombus? Oh, I wonder if maybe like because the general is sending us on this mission. I can say, hey, listen, general, I need some fucking power armor before I go out and do this thing with your paladins or whatever. Or maybe I just will, will not get power armor at this point now. Maybe it's just impossible. Hello? Hello again, initiate. Shoot. Hi. Um, I would like to... Pfft, none get of that. I... Okay. I'm going to talk to this guy. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Um, old man, that sounds rude. Are you the assistant? What do you do? I need some... Okay, thanks for the information. No, okay. He's not going to help me requisition anything else. These guys I can't talk to. I mean, I could maybe come down here and just, like, melt down the core um, and kill all of these guys. That'd be pretty cool. But I don't think it's going to happen somehow. Um, what can we give to Rhombus? Or how can we get Rhombus out of that room? This is tricky as hell. And I've just spent, like, all of this time in the Brotherhood of Steel Bunker accomplishing very, very little. <laughs> oh, I had a tussle with Rhombus, I guess. God damn it, Rhombus. Why you gotta be like this? Why can't you just let a guy live his life out here in the wastes? I'm just trying to live my goddamn life out here. And this guy's totally preventing that. Alright, fine. You know what? We're out of here. Come on, Ian. Follow me. These guys can just suck on one for all I'm concerned. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go up to the super mutant base. And we're just gonna brute force our way in. Even though that they, even though they've got the guns and the bombs and everything. Hopefully these paladins will help us. Because I don't, th I don't even know what else we can do at this point. We're never going to get power armor because Rhombus is like some sort of sinister asshole. Um, all of the other places that we've gone to to try to get quests and stuff from, it's not working. We've just run into a patrol of goddamn super mutants who are killing each other. That guy just actually killed his own dude. And a floater. What the fuck is a floater? Super Mutant Patroller is hit for 106 hit points and was killed. Okay, great. Well, I think we're about to get killed out here, Ian. So, there's only one thing for it. Let's run away. Don't get eaten by that thing, Ian. I bet you've never seen one of those. Don't fight back either, Ian. You're dead. You loser! Okay, Ian. Well, Ian died. I don't think... I think we need the power armor for these chain guns. Actually, I think we're going to need to get some power armor for Ian, too, by the looks of it. Because... Alright, let's try to get out of here. Let's see if we can run out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> that super mutant is just killing everything for me. I was hit for 10 hit points from long range. Okay, we made it out. Alright, Ian. Rip in peace. We're going to the super mutant base to hook up with these paladins to see what happens. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, military base, entrance. We made it. Where are the paladins at? Okay, there's a whole bunch of guys out here with big guns that I can't do shit all about. Oh, here they are. Oh my god, this guy's got like a scud missile and chain guns and everything. All right, guys. Let's take it to the enemy. I know you've all got power armor. Michael and Rhombus wouldn't let me have any. You had best be surrendering. Die, spawn from hell. Have it your way. Okay, you stop. Me take to lieutenant. Come peaceful or die. Die spawn from hell. Fine. To the death it is. Well, they tried. Nobody save you now. Oh, we were hit for 11 hit points. Luckily, we have a ton of stims. Uh, okay, guys. Take them out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, brotherhood. You can do it. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, look at this! I will wash my face with your blood! Alright, Ian, I'm sorry, but... I mean... Actually... Guys, I think we can do this. <laughs> oh my god! These guys are crazy! These guys are nuts! Oh, Ian! We need you back! Alright, Ian, come on. Together forever. Forever and ever and ever apart. Together forever, me and you. Okay, we have to survive. We have to get there with Ian, because Ian's got to see this. Oh my god, Ian, you can't miss out on this. We had to reload because sadly Ian was torn apart by a minigun. But Ian, 
We don't need power armor, I don't think. I think we can fucking do this. It's incredible. Oh, it is incredible. Okay. Uh, so we want to go to the military base and we hopefully, we don't want to tussle with a mutant patrol. It's likely that we will have to tussle with a mutant patrol. I don't have enough action points to like hightail out of there in time. Are we going to run into the same one? Yeah, it looks like we have. Okay, Ian. Oh my god. Big boss man has been taken down this time. <laughs> oh my god. Ian, just run. Don't get in there and get fresh with these... <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? Okay, Ian, you have to run now. They're shooting me. I'm the one with the Boy Scout armor. Whoa. Oh my god. I mean, fucking god. Okay, Jesus Christ. That was crazy. All right, we're back. Okay, Ian, it's like the edge of tomorrow. Like, every time we go and we try something new, something else happens. I'm Tom Cruise, and you're that um, woman, the one that I fall in love with, and um, and yeah, I have to, like, find out where the alien presence is or whatever. All right, let's try a different route this time. I can't believe those super mutants kill each other like that. I just find that fucking hilarious. All right, Ian, we're going to... We're going to employ a strategy this time. We're going to go this way, okay? We're not going to go up into the desert because this is like this is like the flashpoint right here. We don't want to go into the flashpoint, okay? We're going to go through here, through the cover of darkness, right? Through the city and stuff. And then we're going to make our way up here and then slowly and delicately just make our way up here and hopefully we're not going to get dehydrated. Is this rad scorpions? You fall over some rough terrain and scrape some flesh. You were hit for no damage. All right, we can live with that, Ian. All right, we're kind of stuck out here now, but if we can only get to here, okay, without encountering a... We've done it. Okay, excellent. Now, Ian, this is going to be a tough nut to crack. Well, Ian, that's where you're wrong because we got fucking Bazooka Joe on the case here. Wait till you see these guys. This is incredible. All right, so this is going to be... The ho 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 traveler proof. Uh, we're actually going to overwrite ho 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 traveler and uh, possibly spell it right if we can. Uh, ho 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 proof. <laughs> proof. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can actually brute force this with the minimum sort of um, stuff that we have here. All right. Hey guys, what's up? We're back. I brought some more dudes this time. Halt this restricted area. You know be here. Die, spawn from hell. Have it your way. Done. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. I was hit for 12 points. It's okay. I can survive. Ian, just stay back. Trust me on this one. You don't want to get in the way of these guys. They've got power armor. They're hit. They're, look at that. Look at these animations and stuff are fantastic. Holy shit. Okay, we knocked that guy down, but he's not quite dead. Ian, what are you doing? Just let these dudes do their job, Ian. Trust me. You don't want to get involved here. Just watch them. Combat cannot end with nearby hostile creatures. Is it just this guy? Hey, check this out. We're actually going to get in here. But before we do that... Okay, so the plan here, of course, is... Holy shitballs. The plan here is for one of these paladins to, like, really just, like, kick the bucket out here. Uh, and then when he's down, we're going to strip him and steal his power armor, okay? But it's looking like we've got the advantage here. I mean, these guys don't stand a goddamn chance. Hey, we leveled up too. Good job, guys. We've done it. We've stormed the compound. <laughs> what did they have on them? Let's check. Oh, God. They've got everything. Look, there's a microfusion cell. Yes, please. Uh, a couple of stim packs. Yep, I'll be taking those too. What's this? A plasma grenade, a laser rifle, a radio. Oh, no way. From the fine people at Watts Electronics. Dependable, rugged, and camouflage with the optional RS-121 interface. All right, let's take the radio. And what's this? A ripper. Oh, my God. Do we want to give... Do we want to give Ian a laser rifle? I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. Holy shit! And we leveled up too! Alright, fine. Let's quickly level up as well. Um, whoa, look at this! Bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage, bonus hand-to-hand -hand attacks. You have learned the secret arts of the East, or you just punch faster. In any case, your hand-to-hand -hand attacks cost one AP less to perform. 
This is the one that I need, okay? Bonus hand-to-hand -hand attacks uh, means that I can actually punch more. But I don't think I need to now with these guys in tow. Bonus hand-to-hand -hand attacks, done. We've done it. We've reached level 9 and we've gotten a perk and now I can punch more, which is fantastic. All right, what else do we want? Uh, do we want to be able to... Melee weapons? Martial arts, boxing, and other hand-to-hand -hand combat with your hands and feet or melee weapons. Uh, unarmed. Okay, we're going to increase unarmed like to 31%. Excellent. And then we're also going to um, add some points into speech as well. So that hopefully we can get past Michael at some point. What a bastard. Holy shit. All right. What about this guy? What did he have on him? Oh my god. He's got a med kit. He's got some more fusion cells for these laser guns. This guy had like a some sort of... Okay, another one. Fantastic. He had a radio. What's this? That's a grenade. A pulse grenade. A frag grenade. These guys are so heavily armed. It's crazy. Oh my god. All right. Great. So... We want to, uh, once again, we, we're going to save on Ho 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 Proof. This is like our sort of backup because I don't know how we're doing here. Oh my god, okay. Progress is being made, friends. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. The door's locked. Oh, no shit. Does this guy have the code on him? I forgot to check him, actually. What is this? It's a tape. All right, we're going to have to listen to that tape. I think it's going to have the security code on it. All right, inventory... Uh, where's the tape? We want to look at the tape, or is it that yellow key card thing? That's the other tape. This is the tape. Alright, we're gonna use it. Although this tape is damaged beyond use, there is something, some writing scratched on the plastic. Code 010597. Okay, 010597. You enter the door, the code from the tape, and unlock the door! Alright, guys. We're in! Guys? Oh, guys, you're not just going to stay outside, are you? Come on. Get in here. You guys got to get in here. Look. We're infiltrating the base. Are these guys for real not in here? Because holy shit. Like, I really could use that backup. We stormed the gates, but now that we're inside, they're not... Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to have to sneak around and stuff. Can we actually do this without fighting, like, one single guy? Well, we're going to fucking try anyway. Oh, my lord. Okay, I mean, there are a lot of them in there. Uh, is that the elevator? Is that where we have to get to? Hey, I think we can, like, almost get there without being seen, you know? Oh, shit, is this the place that I came to when I was in jail uh, that one time? Because it looks exactly like it. I wonder what they're going to think of old Space Ranger Joe just, like, waltzing around in here with his friend Ian. No? All right, Ian, follow me. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna tempt fate here. We're gonna try to get through. Oh shit! How do we, how do we open that to get into the elevator though? Or is it up here? Is that even the elevator? What is all this crap? Look at all these fuckers! Jesus, we're like totally outnumbered. Force field emitter. How do I? What's this thing? Horribly damaged emitter field. It's horribly damaged. So can I... Do I have to fix it? Oh shit, what are these things? It's a robo-brain. Oh yeah, these robo-brain things. <laughs> Holy shit. They're actually like in the first one too. These are the things that you see like all the time in like Fallout 3 and stuff. That's awesome. Alright, let's try to um, repair this thing. Let's see what happens. The emitter is too damaged to repair. Do we have to like shoot it or something? Explosives? Are these robots going to try to fight us? And alert these guys as well? Or maybe we have to just like get into here and use like these computers? Oh, fuck. Okay. Alright, well listen. We'll mess around with this next time. Um, we'll be back for the next Fallout where we try to sneak around this base because I can't get power armor. Uh, we're going to try to avoid all the fights. Hopefully our paladin friends will join us and rip these guys to shreds. What is this book on the ground? Guns and bullets. I could really use that, actually, for Ian. Um, okay. And these things didn't fight me, so maybe we can talk to them or get them to, like, go through here. Or maybe we can send Ian through there or something instead. I have no idea. We're going to have to see. All right. Great. Well, as usual, 
thanks very much for watching. Uh, join us next time where, like I said, we sneak around this base uh, and try to get through it and see what happens. I think we're like kind of close to the end of the game. So hopefully if we can just brute force it or whatever, we can see the ending and then we can move on maybe to Fallout 2 or something. Excellent. All right. Well, as usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.